Hey everybody, it's Wilbix. We're playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. And this is the last trial! Ah! Oh! Did some! Um... Wait a minute, I've gotta do. You guys are going to be really hard to do a trial here with all of this. Oh, jeez. I, um... That was a bit like in uh, Blazing Saddles when, like, one movie, like, breaks into the other one with a big fight scene. This is, uh, how are we gonna have a trial when there's a big fight going on in the middle of the trial? <laughs> it's complete chaos outside and also inside, Athena! Let's just say the Defiant Dragon supporters demonstrating for Dirk's freedom have taken a very special interest in the outcome of today's trial. Is, are they gonna be on our side? Please? They look, they look about ready to string us up if we lose. Trials here are pretty much like the ones back home, but with one major difference. The Divination Seance. The victim's final memories will become a matter for deliberation. I've heard about that. But they haven't stopped you from winning your cases here in Kurain. True, but it wasn't easy. Still, the memories of the dead are simply another piece of evidence. There's always a way to deal with them if your client is truly innocent. Well, I know Dirk is innocent, but... I have one more big secret. Apollo, in court tomorrow, you may find yourself faced with a truth that is difficult to accept. But I know you. I know you can handle the truth, no matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son, after all. <laughs> Dirk, what is that secret you're keeping? <laughs> hey, AJ! Here you go, just like I promised. Got the Founder's Orb, added to the court record. We have a lot of things in our court record. Thanks, Stats. Wait, weren't you arrested by the police yesterday? Yep, and I spent the night in the slammer. I had a fine meal, a shower, even a bed. What more could I ask for? <laughs> she sounds way better than where we're staying. Just remember, AJ, if Dirk's found guilty today, we'll all probably be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act, too. And you'd have said something to that effect. That witch Garan wants to take advantage of today to crush our revolution once and for all. The fate of the revolution and every Kurainese person rests on this trial. No pressure! We're counting on you, AJ. But the stakes are as high as they could possibly be. We'll be fine. I'm gonna win this one. You'll see. The trial will begin shortly, Apollo. Let's make our way into the courtroom. Right. So we're just fine with the revolution mob. Just, I guess they've burst in, beat up everyone inside, and then just calmly sat down in their chairs. Just like, yeah, okay, no, no, we'll watch this. We'll eat some snackoos and just kind of hang out. Court is now in session. Let the trial of Dirk Sagbadi begin. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Majesty. So it's really come down to this. Well, don't expect me to hold anything back, Nayuda. This trial will examine both the murder of Justice Minister Inga Karkul Kurain and the assassination of the former Queen Amara Sigatur Kurain. First, I believe we should address the murder of Minister Inga. Would that be acceptable, Prosecutor Sadmati? Saying his prayers? You better be. <laughs> Prosecutor Sadmati. Hmm. Yes, of course. Please proceed. 
Hmm. Seem a little distracted there, Yudi. What's with him? How very unlike you, Prosecutor. Is your mind elsewhere this day? N not at all, Your Majesty. Are you really going to be able to go through with this, Niura? Well, Prosecutor Sarbati, I would be remiss if I failed to voice a concern of mine. I have heard mention that you are son of the accused, Dirk Sadmadi. You have heard true. Does that fact pose some sort of a problem, your majesty? A father being prosecuted by his own son. Could one possibly deliberate such a case without having personal feelings intervene? Yes, without question. Can he really handle this? Even if it is Prosecutor Samity, going against his own father is just... How can the son of a criminal even be a prosecutor in the first place? Dirk? Fellow citizens, you would do well not to underestimate my son. He is not one to allow personal feelings to interfere with the execution of his duty. Isn't that right, Nayuta? I will not stop until my work here is done. See? So all you doubters just sit back down before you trip over your own stupidity. <laughs> the accused will not take the stand without first being summoned. In any case, if Prosecutor Sabbaty has no issue with this arrangement, then let us commence the deliberations. Objection! Oh, who's ob who's objecting? Who objects? Hi, the Queen! Hello! One moment, if you would. Y your Eminence! Your Eminence, what brings you here? Uh-oh! Hi! Your Majesty, it would appear that Prosecutor Sadmady does indeed have some reservations. No, that's not true. Did you truly believe you could deceive me, Nayuta Sadmadi? One should hold no reservations if one is to stand on these hallowed funerary grounds. I, I, I have none, your emin- No, it is clear we cannot leave this matter to you. Mm. We shall handle the prosecution of enemy of the crown, Dirk Sadmadi, personally. But remain by our side and bear witness to how a true prosecutor enforces the law. Um, excuse me, but is the queen going to prosecute the case? Is that, you know, uh, kosher? There is no need for concern. Before we were crowned queen, we served as a prosecutor. Really? As a foreigner, your ignorance can be excused, but know this. The prosecutor in charge of the Queen Amara assassination case 23 years ago was none other than her eminence, Queen Garan, Sigata Kurain. Talk about having a vested interest in the outcome of a trial, though. That's kind of a conflict. Just like the one we have now. First, your majesty. And now this? Why does anyone ever tell me these things? I'd heard she'd served as the Minister of Justice, but she was also a prosecutor? I'm guessing she probably moved up the ladder from prosecutor to justice minister. We prosecuted that case 23 years ago, but no verdict was ever rendered. We had one guilty verdict in every case until then, for no lawyer could stand up to us. Ah, I am at a loss for words. To think I would once more bear witness to her eminence at work in the Hall of Justice. Our first trial in 23 years. No quarter shall be given to criminals. We shall prosecute them with all our might. Okay. Um. 
Are you gonna show- Oh! Oh! What? We, um... Oh! We have derobed. Oh! What a magnificent sight! The queen's attire from her prosecutor days! To think we would get to see it once more! What the... Th that's Queen Garan? Talk about an extreme makeover! <laughs> it's all coming back now. The feel of my blood pumping through my veins. Woe to you, O oh enemies of Kurain, for I shall personally slice, dice, and grind you up into hog feed. I don't suppose I can ask her to roll back to her polite pre makeover personality. Know this, lawyer. Yes. Now that I stand as a prosecutor, consider your defenses, Bench, a headsman's scaffold. If you wish to leave any last words, I advise you to start thinking of them now. While you still have a head with which to think, that is... Me. She, she's dead serious. She wants to kill us. Now it is time for the divination seance. Rafa, come forth. Hi, Rafa. Your benevolence. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Your benevolence. I understand it may be difficult for you, but... May we proceed with the divination seance? Yes, let us proceed. Forgive me for asking, but are you feeling physically unwell? If so, I would advise you to avoid any undue exertion. Um, mm -hmm. Your benevolence? What's wrong? It's like her mind's anywhere but here. A lot's happened since yesterday. On top of the murder of her beloved father, she found out that he'd been planning a coup. And today she'll have to experience his death through his own eyes. Yeah, that'd be enough to shake anybody up. No, 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 not gonna like it. Not gonna like it. Still, it seems like she's worse off today than she was yesterday. Yeah. I don't remember her being this depressed. We must speak with our child. It is a mother's duty to discipline her child, after all. Now, if you would excuse us. Discipline? Coming from her, I don't like the sound of that at all. Wait. Garan didn't do something to her, did she? Your Eminence, about today's divination seance, I just, you know, we, we'd we like to have it, and if you're feeling okay, as I understand it, the prosecution has yet to review its content. Is this deviation from protocol a part of your plan? Prosecutor Sadmedy, would you care to explain your actions? Your Eminence, the accused was caught at the scene of the crime. Therefore, I deemed no seance would be necessary for such a clear-cut case. Mm. You and your bleeding heart. You seek to spare Rafa the trauma of witnessing her father's death. Is that why you have done this? N not at all. You were concerned for me, Prosecutor Sadmedy? That's oddly compassionate of him, all things considered. Your Eminence, Your Majesty, regardless of what is best for her benevolence, this case is blessed with a bounty of incontrovertible evidence. So I believe we can reach a swift verdict without devoting precious time to a seance. 
Hmm. You have a point. Personally, I would like to spare her benevolence any undue misery. Experiencing the murder of a loved one is a burden no one should have to bear. Prosecutor Satinity, Your Majesty, can this trial truly proceed without a divination seance? I can't blame her for not wanting to experience her father's murder firsthand. Your Eminence, what are your feelings on the matter? Shall we have her benevolence return home for some much needed rest? We shall not. You fools spoil her with your feckless words of compassion. Hmm. Uh. Listen well, Rafa. You have spoken time and time again about how grown up you are now. Yes, but... So, let us see if the royal priestess has truly come into her own. Are you prepared to fulfill your duty and perform the divination seance as you should? Yes. That's better. See? Problem solved. Poor Rafa. Is this really a good idea? I guess we'll see. Very well. Let us begin. The divination seance. Nina, my robe. Oh! Oh, Nana's still gone. Oh, Nana, no. What has happened to Nana? Looks like Nana's still missing. It's been a whole day already. Bobbed head. Yes? You remove my robe. What? Why me? I can't do the zip zip zippity boom. Don't keep her benevolence waiting now, Mr. Wright. Can't you see she's ready to begin? Uh, great. I've been reduced to royal robe remover. If Apollo's gonna be doing the lawyering, you can at least help her out. It's like she's grooming Mr. Wright to be Nana's replacement. He'd be a good- are we gonna- are we gonna just end up adopting Rafa and then Trucy will have a sister? I kinda love the idea of that, but... Okay, it's just gone. I was hoping that we'd get an animation of a phoenix like, zip, 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 in the same way, but... Very well, your benevolence. Please start when you are ready. Come, Rafa, you know what must be done. There is no turning back now. I know. The final memories of the deceased. This should be interesting. O oh, Holy Mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear and our ears be unstopped. O oh, dance of devotion. Guide the victim's soul to me, so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls. We're going to watch this one in case something different happens. I know it's probably the same um, animation that we've been getting the whole time through. But if ever they were going to do something different, this is the time to do something different. Also, we haven't seen it in a little bit.
thing is going to be the same, but still. With a different subtext, because now she's being so brave. Let's see what happens. That bubbly spirit cola. Nothing. Ah! I I ah! 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 <gasps> <gasps> Rafa, no! <laughs> Your benevolence. What's wrong? Rafa is not okay. This is unacceptable. Bailiff, take our benevolence to the first aid station at once. This is not good. Your Eminence, do you have any idea why her benevolence collapsed so suddenly? It seems she was not ready for what the deceased was to reveal. It overwhelmed her. Her inexperience and immaturity left her ill-prepared to face her father's death. And she said she could go through with it. How very disappointing. I know someone who's not winning Mother of the Year. Ever. I mean, of course Rafa's gonna be overwhelmed. She's still just a child. It seems we have no choice but to move on to witness testimony, your majesty. Oh, yes. Let us proceed. Bailiff, summon the first witness if you would. Who dis? Oh, it's Dirk. So funny how you never see their shoes, and I see the show's shoes, and it's like, who is this gonna be? Is this not the accused? It is indeed. I thought I would give him the opportunity to plead his case. The true justice is more than a unilateral presentation of the facts by the prosecution. That seems uncharacteristically fair of her. However, should the accused fail to produce convincing testimony. He, along with his cabal of traitorous lawyers, shall immediately be found guilty, and their heads will roll from their shoulders. What? I need... I should have known there was a catch. Your court, your rules. Same as it always was, I see, Garan. Now then, Mr. Dirk Sodbody, if you could enlighten us as to what happened. Um, well, I would, if I could. But he kind of doesn't remember. He blacked out when he walked in and woke up with a knife in his hand. Dirk explains it all. Come on, Clarissa, tell us all about it. I was struck by a sudden dizziness the moment I entered the tomb. The next thing I knew, I was standing there with a bloody knife in my hand. And lying right in front of me was Inga, dead as a doornail. I've no recollection of what happened in the interim. But I didn't kill him. At least, I don't think I did. It'd go against everything I believe in. Well, that was not good testimony. That was bad testimony, Dad. That thing's playing squat! For the record, let it be known that the accused's fingerprints were all over the murder weapon. 
and since he was caught in the act, there was no chance for a third party to tamper with it. Well, that certainly seems to point the finger at you, Mr. Sadbati. Even as a lawyer, I have to agree with you there, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm a dead man, and so are all of you. Sorry. Seriously, Dirk, this is no laughing matter. This is exactly what Garan wanted. To have Dirk try to plead his case only to fail miserably. We have to find holes in his testimony that make him seem less guilty. How low can she go? Prosecutor, behold this most unpleasant of spectacles and let it be etched into your soul. See how instead of accepting the inevitable, those fresh brain lawyers flounder and flop themselves straight into the abyss of despair. Just your eminence, show me the way. Now then, would the defense please begin the cross-examination? 